Alright, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I am a Whovian and today I am reviewing Remembrance of the Dark. So, taking, a, taking place one night after an unearthly child, when the Doctor has taken uh, his granddaughter Susan's teachers away to prehistoric times, well, to early man, uh, the Doctor and Ace, the Seventh Doctor, arrive in London one day after that first episode uh, and discover that the Daleks are at work and the Doctor, as usual, has to stop them. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes. First of all, I like that this was taking place exactly one night after the first ever episode aired. And uh, people still thought of the Doctor as like, like one person said, I thought this Doctor was an old geezer with white hair. Um, this was also uh, aired in 1988, which was probably the start of the 25th anniversary celebrations. Um, I don't think they did a special where all the Doctors met up or out, uh, but they did definitely have a lot of references. I mean, well, they did do something to mark the 25th anniversary of the show, because it's a quarter, it were a quarter of a century old. Um, I also liked uh, Sylvester McCoy in this. This was the first ever Seventh Doctor adventure I watched. Um, so, yeah, I thought I liked his look, you know. Over the for first time I saw the Seventh Doctor, I thought, I like his look, I like the hat he's wearing, I like the coat he's wearing, and the umbrella. The umbrella, I think, is part of the Seventh Doctor's signature look. Um, I also liked, um, you know, Ace, played by Sophie Aldred. Um, you know, she wasn't like the, <coughs> excuse me, like the companions that I'd seen before. You know, she was badass, she was tough, she beat up a Dalek with a baseball bat. Um, and uh, and stuff. Uh, also, I liked um, you know I liked the story and the theme song and the openings to it. In fact, the Seventh Doctor's opening credits is probably my favourite one ever. Uh, favourite Doctor Who opening credits. Um, I also liked um, you know that we that you know they also acknowledged the. Uh, assassination of President Kennedy and there's a little Easter egg in there as well where they say we now return to our usual programming dot and before they could finish what they were saying it cut you know uh, also oh, I know I keep saying that but what else did I like uh, I like that Davros returned it was no surprise who the Dalek Emperor were I recognized his Dalek well his Khaled voice and that. Um, also, I like the Hand of Omega that was in this. Didn't see it much, but, you know. Um, also, I... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, now to my dislikes. I didn't like a lot of the Daleks in this. I like the grey Daleks, but then the like white ones, they were like different makes and that. Um, yeah. Uh, I thought, you know, the Daleks, I think at this point in Doctor Who were used a, a lot, I think. Um, but I don't think they return every single year. I think this was the first time the Seventh Doctor's Doctor encountered the Daleks. I liked how the, we finally got to see a Dalek go upstairs. Yeah, in the at the end of part one, when the Doctor's like in a school basement, a Dalek does hover up a, f a very small flight of stairs. Not a big flight, but a small flight. That was the first time a Dalek had mastered the stairs. So it wasn't 2005's Dalek, it was Remembrance of the Daleks. Um, yeah, um, yeah uh, there's probably many other flaws I have with this story, but... I obviously, I've watched it multiple times because I enjoy it that much. Um, so Mr. McCoy was witty and eccentric as his doctor and Sophie Aldred was tough and badass as her character of Ace. Uh, I also like how we, the doctor encountered a young brigadier in this. 
well, it weren't Nicholas Courtney because Nicholas Courtney was quite old by then. But still, I thought from a distance he looked all right as Nick, Nick Courtney. And that. Um, so, final thoughts and readings. What shall I do with this one? Remembrance of the Daleks. Um, well, I thought it was a great story to kick off 25 years of the show. Okay, so uh, I think I'm just going to give Doctor Who Remembrance of the Daleks. Uh, I think I'll give this a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 from Remembrance of the Daleks. Um, so, yeah, that has been my Who review on Remembrance of the Daleks. Um, have you seen it? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are linked down below in the description. So, until next time, for your life.